I just found out about my girlfriend's wild past at our engagement party, and discovered that there is a guy she could never resist, so I'm asking for the ring back. I was engaged to my girlfriend. We had been together for about three years. To celebrate our engagement, we decided to go out with our friends. After a few drinks, one of her friends started sharing some details about my girlfriend's past. The friend mentioned that my girlfriend had finally managed to control her wild side and that she never could keep herself in check around her male friend. Let's call him Bob. From what I gathered about Bob, he used to hook up with my girlfriend regularly. When we got home, I asked my girlfriend more about how she was controlling herself. I had to press her, and she eventually confessed that she had cheated on previous boyfriends with Bob, and Bob had cheated with her. She admitted that her exes never found out about their infidelity. Bob and my girlfriend still hang out from time to time. They have been friends since college. Now, here I am, her boyfriend who was her fiancé, struggling with almost no trust towards her. I asked for the engagement ring back, and while she insisted that nothing had happened with Bob since we got together, I find it hard to believe her after learning all of this. Have I gone too far? What do you think here? I'd appreciate advice. Relevant comments. Commenter 1. Even if you overlook past actions on the assumption she has changed, being friends with an affair partner is very, very odd. Shouldn't someone be deeply ashamed of cheating? I can't understand how you can just casually hang out with someone you've committed such an immoral act with, especially multiple times. Response, I agree. If she wasn't friends with Bob, it might be a lot different. Commenter 2, so is she spending time with Bob alone, or is Bob part of a larger friend group? In hindsight, can you see any signs that she might have cheated on you? Response, both. I never thought it was a big deal until now. Update. I decided to end the relationship. I told her that if she wanted me to even consider staying with her, I needed to see her phone. After going through her texts and messages, I found a conversation where she told Bob she missed him, about a year ago. Bob suggested meeting up after reminiscing about their past encounters, and my girlfriend only declined because I had moved in with her by that time. Her message read, Wish I could, but he's moved in. Let you know if I get a chance though. I'm done. I packed my belongings and am moving back in with my parents. My girlfriend apologized for the messages and insists that nothing actually happened with Bob. Yeah, sure, only because she couldn't. Thanks for all the support, by the way. Also, I swear, some of you could catch your significant other in bed with someone else, but as long as you didn't actually see them have intimacy, you'd be all like, well, there's no proof they actually had gotten down to it, so they clearly didn't cheat. Relevant comments. Commenter 1, I'm really sorry. However, I'm glad you found out before you got married. Even though nothing might have happened, the intention was there. If she had responded differently, saying she no longer wanted that lifestyle and was committed to cutting Bob out of her life because she was in a happy relationship with you, it would have been a start. But she didn't. Has your ex tried reaching out to you? Even if she doesn't end up with you, I hope she learns from this experience and changes her ways. Response, I don't know, I've blocked her on everything I could think of. Commenter 2, I'm curious how she took the breakup. It sounds like she was re-signed to letting the relationship go, but I might be reading too much into it. If she seemed pretty stoic about it, that might confirm that your instincts were right. Response, she kept insisting that nothing had happened and promised she would never see Bob again. She was crying a lot. I tried to tune her out, to be honest, so I didn't catch every word she said. 